Hello and welcome everybody, this is Patrocules. Now we're about to go into the first of many of the advanced shaman guide video series that we're going to do, where we're going to go deep into the skills and techniques that you're going to need to take your shaman game to the next level. If that's what you're looking for, let's jump into the pit. Okay, so just like you guys, I've searched online, I've searched on YouTube for advanced guides, and it's the same thing every time. You've got that 10, 12 minute video where the person goes through uh, the, all of the moves, all of the combos, all of the, their, their entire kit, start to finish, and then you have two minutes at the end where you go into depth on you know, how they use their kit. And it, there's a couple tips and that's it. But what I wanna do is I wanna talk about a certain topic each in each video and really jump into the details of that specific topic. So since this is the first video of the series, it seemed fitting that we talk about the opener. How are we gonna start these fights? How are we gonna get started? So in each fight, I have an opening combo that I like to do that's really low risk and allows me to get a good idea of what the enemy's doing, what his defensive capabilities are, how good he is at counter guard breaks, that sort of thing, so I know what I'm getting myself into. So you're gonna go back into your pounce, then feint into holding your R2, go into your heavy, soft feint your unblockable into a guard break, throw your heavy, soft feint your next unblockable into the guard break, and throw your next heavy. Okay, so here it is. You're gonna go back into the pounce and hold it. You're gonna feint the pounce into a delayed heavy to try and bait a dodge. And you're gonna let the heavy go, get the unblockable heavy, soft feint that into guard break, and get your free heavy. Now this combo tells you tons about your opponent. If they're not baited into the pounce, if they sit through and block everything effectively, they're on top of their counter guard breaks, you know you're playing up against somebody who has their defense down, who has their counter guard breaks down, who's gonna be a bit of a turtle. Whereas if they fell for anything in this, if they dodged at your first pounce that was feinted, or if they fell for the guard breaks, you found a nice weakness that you can really exploit moving forward. There is one area of risk in this opener, and that's the unblockable soft feint into the guard break. If they know what's going on, if they know that's a really slow, heavy attack, and that often people are soft feinting that into guard break, then they might just throw a light. And if, if they do, if they throw a light, they try and go into a light spam, it tells you you've got a really aggressive opponent on your hand, and you can try and handle them differently. Now, if you're dealing with the former and you have a really defensive guy, you're going to have to do these feints. You're going to have to switch it back and forth between holding that heavy, holding the pounce, holding the heavy, and really make them wonder when you're actually going to throw it. If it's the latter, though, and you're dealing with someone who's really offensive who's going to try and throw lights to interrupt you, we need to change our combos. We need to start canceling our unblockables with dodge attacks instead of with our guard breaks. This will keep us safe from those aggressive light attacks, people just trying to interrupt us. You can do either side, you can do left or right, or you can do the back dodge and go back into the heavy attack lunge and just open up the whole combo again, depending on how much stamina you have left. You do need to be careful not to use these dodge attack combos against someone who's being too defensive though. They are able to be parried and they're probably the, the easiest thing to parry out of everything we've done so far. They really need to only be used if you know someone's going to try and interrupt you with these lights. So two other places other than openers that these combos become incredibly useful are other areas where it becomes easier to bait the dodge. And I really find two. There's two. There's one when people have bleed on them and there's when, are, when people are out of stamina or really low on health and become a little passive and become defensive. When people are like that, they just want to back up, they just want to create distance, and they want to dodge a lot. They want to keep, keep their distance between you and them. And here's an example. The guy's back dodging, I change the pounce into a heavy, and I don't even delay it because he's just dodging like crazy, and that's what we want. We want people to be dodging, and we want to punish those dodges. And now we're just going to let this play out in slow-mo. Okay, so here's another example. Uh, we got both low on health, he's out of stamina. Faint the pounce, hold the heavy, wait for the dodge. He dodges, you're confirming the heavy, and finish. And another slow mo execution. So, 
For all the reasons we talked about, this is my favorite combo to open a match with. To really open things up, start the aggression out fast, learn a ton about my opponent, and get things started. There are certainly times where I would hesitate to do this, uh, any of these combos. To jump in with that heavy attack against a Kensei, you're almost begging them to give you one of the dodge attacks. Uh, same thing with a Berserker. I probably wouldn't re recommend it there. If you're close to them at all while you're delaying that heavy, then the Berserker has so much forward movement on his side dodge, he can close the gap, and the Kensei has so much range, he can probably punish you there. The only th other thing I'd worry about are characters with a full guard. You probably don't want to, di to dive in with a heavy unless you know you're catching them on a recovery. But that is the whole point of this combo, to set them up to dodge, to set them up to throw something so you can catch them on that recovery. Okay guys, now that pretty much wraps up our in-depth look at the Shaman's opener to a fight. I hope that you guys got some good information out of this. I know I sure refined my own understanding even putting my notes together. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, or if you have anything to add to this episode, then leave some comments down below. Like the video and subscribe, and we'll have a ton more of these coming out. Thanks everyone. Again, I'm Petrocules, and I'll see you on the next one.